tonight to the book of 1 John. 1 John tonight, I'm going to read one verse before we begin traveling through the scripture. All right, we're going to be looking at 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's bow, please, for a word of prayer. Dear Father, we thank you tonight, Lord, and we really don't have words that are adequate to express the praise and glory you deserve. But Lord, let our little words somehow get to heaven and glorify you as best they can. I thank you, Lord, for the ministry of the Holy Spirit that makes those groanings that cannot be uttered. And so tonight, as we think about you, we are filled with rejoicing and thanksgiving. And Lord, we ask that you might work in our hearts and teach us tonight. Make us open and willing vessels to receive what you have. And open the lips of your servant by your spirit. And Father, may you just do your ministry in our hearts, in our lives, so that we can do the ministry you've called us to do in our community and around the world. We ask your blessing, we'll give you the glory for what you do, and thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. I know that this verse is often quoted. I know that you've heard it a thousand times. But that does not change its truth. And it does not change its consequences. And sometimes verses become trite. And uh, we just recite them, but we never think about them. We recite them, but we never really get the concept. And we're going to look at a concept tonight that really we need to get a hold of this concept to really have victory in our relationships. The Word of God is truth. A wise man will take heed and a fool will disregard. Sometimes as sinners, saved by grace, we get weak in the flesh and we sin. Now the word sin comes from the Greek word harmatano. It means to miss the mark. It means to err, to offend, or to trespass. Have you ever missed the mark? You know, you tried to do the right thing, but you failed. You tried to do what you were supposed to do, but you failed. Have you ever erred? You made a mistake. You erred. Have you ever offended? You know, the word offend means to trip. Sometimes we trip others by offending them, don't we? And sometimes it, it's talking about stumbling in our walk. Have you ever trespassed? The word trespass means to side slip. Have you ever walked on muddy ground and you're trying to go forward and your foot just kind of slips that way and you end up where you didn't want to be in the mud? Well, that's called a side slip. That's what the word trespass means. It also means to lapse. Did you ever have a lapse of your integrity, a lapse of your morals, a lapse of your good intention? A lapse of prayer, a lapse of Bible reading, a lapse of all kinds of things. It means an unintentional error or a willful deviation. That's a trespass. Well, if you have, and you have, and you will. The Bible tells us what the best course of action is. What is the best course of action when we sin? Confession. Isn't that what he says here? But confession to who? Well, the Bible gives us the answer to that as well. Of course, here in 1 John number uh, 1, verse 9, we're talking about confessing to God. Are we not? And so when we sin, the first person we need to talk to about it is God. And this confession is involving a repentance. And what is repentance? Repentance is changing your mind. The word confession means to agree with God. And so when we could change our mind about our sin, we'll agree with God and we'll talk to him about it. And so we need to talk to God, first of all. 
Because our sin ultimately and primarily is against him, isn't it? But then we need to confess our sins to each other. When we offend someone, when we sin against someone. The Bible says in James 5.16, confess your faults one to another. And pray for 